Today we're talking about the Delta Video Game Emulator. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you have one of these, or maybe even one of these, you might want to watch this video. So there's a brand new app on the iOS market. If you have an Apple device, you can download this for free. Now it's not only free, it is the easiest emulator. The app is free and once you find it on iOS, which is pretty easy to do, and that's not it. Nintendo's probably going to be pissed about this one because currently this emulator only works for Nintendo games. Now, if you've seen the Super Nintendo Mini hacked, you know there's a lot of work to go into it. But with Delta, it's so easy and streamlined. I'm talking, you download the app, it takes about a minute to download. Once you have the app downloaded and installed on your mobile device, you simply Google any game you want to put on this emulator. All the way from the original Nintendo to Nintendo 64. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 3DS, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Nintendo 64, any game you could think of. It's as simple as Googling Super Mario World ROM, finding a website that has a ROM, downloading the ROM on your phone. You launch the app, you select the games you want to import to the emulator, and then you just start playing. Now, I've seen some concern about ROMs in general, and a lot of people are scared or worried about it, but this being on Apple and in the Apple Store, this was actually trending a couple of days ago on the Apple Store and it was number one free on the App Store. And it seems like Apple's promoting it at this time. I'm not quite sure what Nintendo has to think about this to be completely honest with you guys. And while there are some games that are available on the Nintendo Online, not everything's there. Not only that, you can't purchase most of the games. For example, one of my favorite games, Pokemon Blue, you can't download it, but you can play it right here. Now, currently, we don't know if they're going to be adding Sega Genesis, PSP, PS1, PS2 emulators to it. It currently only works for Nintendo. But the app is pretty cool because you can actually customize it the way you want. So if you're not happy with the color scheme or with the way the controller looks on your touch screen, you could definitely change that and customize it to your liking. Now, I am not sponsored like at all, but I wanted to let you guys know about this new app that is available on iOS. I would do a video tutorial, but it, it literally is so simple. You download the app off of the iOS uh, store, off of the Apple store. Then you just simply Google the games that you want to put on there, such as Paperboy or Pokemon or Mario Party or Mario Kart, whatever you want. Pretty much all games these days have emulators, especially the older ones. Heck, I've seen so many people hack the Super Nintendo Mini to where they even have Game Boy games on it, uh, Sega games, <laughs> they have PlayStation games playable on the Super Nintendo Mini, and that's a console Nintendo released. So rather than me saying it out loud, you guys say it in the comments down below, what do you think uh, Nintendo's going to do with Apple, considering the fact that Apple is the one that's promoting this new emulator on their free app store? But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you haven't heard about Delta, it is available on iOS, not sponsored by the way, but you can literally download any game you could think of from Nintendo to Super Nintendo to Game Boy Color to Game Boy Advance to Game Boy 3DS to Nintendo 64. Even some of the most sought after games like Conquer. Let me re-emphasize this. So let's say you Google Mario Kart ROM, you find it, you download it to your mobile device, and then you open the app, you add it there. And as an experiment, what I did was I went on Google and I went and found a bunch of games. I hit download, found another game, download, found another game, download. And then by the time I went over to the app, I had about 10 games that I could add to my phone and play emulated right here on the device. And also it works on iPads as well ladies and gentlemen. Now, when you first launch the app, because this is an iPad, it looks a little bit smaller, but don't worry, it gives you the option to make it bigger. So as you can see there, it is fully functional, 
fully functional. Let's go to the menu real quick. Let's go to the main menu. Um, on this iPad, I only have uh, two games downloaded. So we got Paperboy and Super Mario World. But let's go ahead and load Paperboy just, f just to give you an example. So that is Paperboy, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, if we go back to the menu, press the menu. We go back to the menu. We can go back to Super Mario World. And it works so good and so easy. Honestly, downloading ROMs back in the day was very time consuming and this just streamlines it so much the fact that not only can you download your favorite games but you can customize your screen to your liking that's just a plus ladies and gentlemen that's going to do it for this video here today are you going to be using the new Delta app on iOS on Apple devices let me know in those comments down below by the way the Apple Vision and pretty much every Apple product uh, you can think of, this app can run on it. So I'm not just talking iPhones or iPads. I'm talking about pretty much any Apple device can run this emulator. Now, I do want to remind you guys I'm doing a review on this Pro Switch controller, which, by the way, can do Bluetooth capability. So you could definitely connect this controller to your iPhone or even iPad and play all of these emulated games with this controller. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description down below. Uh, Fun Labs did send this to me for free. If you use code MONKEYFLOP, you do get an additional 15% off, and I do get a little kickback. So if you guys are interested in this controller, I'm gonna have a video on it at a later time, so be on the lookout for that. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to hit a like if you're new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on, and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.